How's it going everybody? Welcome back. In a quick video today just to show you guys how you can use Surfshark. So if you've just downloaded Surfshark and you're wondering how all of this goes, of course it's a very simple uh, user interface, very easy to use VPN and there's nothing complicated about it. But I do understand that if you're new to VPNs this could be a little bit confusing. So let's get straight into it. Now if you guys are interested in learning more about Surfshark you'll find a full review down below as well links to pricing and discounts. Okay, now moving on. With Surfshark, it can be as easy as just hitting the quick connect button right here. And that will connect you to the nearest server. I don't really like using this feature, but if you're just trying to secure a connection, you don't want to think about the uh, server, just click the quick connect button and uh, you can choose here from, for example, the fastest location or the nearest country. You can click fastest location and it will just connect you to uh, what Surfshark thinks is the fastest server for you. But that's not always the best option. So I just like to cancel that and, you know, I'll just cancel the connection and, you know, go ahead and let's say select something that's a little bit more particular. And why that is, it's because most people, when they connect to a VPN, uh, they have something in mind, such as unblocking a streaming service. So let's say I want to unblock Hulu, right? And before going to Hulu, I want to select a country or server where Hulu is available, in which case it's either Japan or the States. So I go down to one of these states uh, locations and let's just go with New York for example and it's as simple as just hovering over one of these and clicking it and that is pretty much it and of course the same goes if you're on Android, Mac OS, iOS you know for the most part Surfshark has the same user interface and it works exactly the same way and of course you have all these other features now these are extra features that you have to pay for uh, but let's just say you have the standard version of Surfshark Surfshark as do I right here. Uh, let's go to settings and let's go ahead and of course turn this off first and we'll go to settings, VPN settings. Of course before you use uh, Surfshark you might want to get a bit of an understanding of uh, these settings before you turn on the VPN. Now first of all you have launch on startup and the quick connect and you can select what kind of quick connect this could be. Um, you know, you could set it up so that the quick connect could, let's say, connect to Canada, a Canadian server, right? So that every time you uh, hit the quick connect button, it'll just connect you to Canada. So this is a bit of a shortcut that you can use for convenience. But let's just go back to the settings here. Now you have the auto connect also, and this will allow you to add trusted networks and choose a location to connect connect to automatically. So of course you can select a specific network and you know whenever you're connected to that network it will connect you to a selected server automatically. Clean web is the ad blocker and it's best combined with the browser ad blocker that you have on your browser such as uh, I think uh, Mublock Origin uh, and Adblock. So these are two pretty good ad blockers that you can combine them with the clean web feature right here with Surfshark. You have the kill switch and the kill switch will allow you to uh, disconnect your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And as you can tell here, it says disable your internet connection to prevent rare IP leaks. And what this will do is that it'll make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN, otherwise you'll be disconnected. So this is a pretty good feature, especially if you don't want your ISP to find out what you're doing. In terms of the protocols, you can keep that on automatic. That'll always work because it will just adapt to your connection or network. And I like to keep it on WireGuard because it is the fastest one. Now you have Bypasser, which is a very useful feature feature and this will allow you to uh, use specific applications to bypass the VPN tunnel or route them through the VPN tunnel. So let's say I select a specific application right here to bypass the VPN tunnel. Maybe I'm playing on battle.net, right? And we'll just go ahead and select that and bring it back up. And when I turn on the VPN, all of my network will be routed through the VPN except for battle.net and of course the other way around. So let's say I can um, select a specific application right here to have it uh, go through the VPN tunnel. So maybe I want 
Call of Duty to be using the VPN while the rest of my connection is routed outside the VPN tunnel. So it's a pretty useful feature. And of course, you have the bonus of having specific websites and IP addresses bypass the VPN tunnel, while the rest of your connection is routed through the VPN tunnel. It's a pretty useful feature, and I do recommend that you use it, but it's not really that necessary. You have the speed tester, and this will certainly save you the time of having to manually test all the servers. It will show you down speed, up speed, and latency. So this is a pretty cool feature, definitely very much appreciated. And you have two features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country. Rotating IP will rotate your IP address every five to 10 minutes while your VPN location stays the same, helping you cover up your tracks. And no borders mode will help you connect to Surfshark if you're having trouble if you're in a censorship heavy country. And finally, you have a couple of uh, specialty servers right here. Multi-hop will route your connection through two servers instead of just one uh, for double D encryption. And static IP will have a static IP every time you return to one of these servers. Whereas with the regular servers, let's say you connect to Argentina, if you disconnect and connect again, you'll get a different IP address, but that won't be the case with static IPs. And of course, this could help if you want to avoid the constant CAPTCHA prompts that you're getting, uh, because every time you change your IP address, um, you will be getting these CAPTCHA prompts so that the browser verifies that you're not a bot. And of course, this could also help if you're trying to access your bank account because if you keep trying to access your bank account from different IP addresses, you could be temporarily uh, suspended. So you might be risking the locking of your account. So let's say that's what I want to do. I can just hover over any server. Let's say I always want to connect to Frankfurt 5. So I can just favorite that. And there it'll be in my favorites in the static IP. Let's say the Sydney server. I'll just favorite it and it'll always be there for quick access. And that is pretty much it. Let's say I want to connect to it simply click on the server itself and you will be connected. And now I have access to everything that's available in Australia, whether it's a streaming service, a website, a banking service, a game, a specific discount that's exclusive to Australia, so on and so forth. So that is pretty much it for this video. Though if you guys are interested in learning more about Surfshark's privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full review down below. And of course, I'll link a special discount in the description down below if you'd like to take advantage of it. And let's say you don't want Surfshark anymore, at least during the first 30 days of your purchase, uh, you can just go back on your decision and get yourself the refund because they do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you do have those 30 days to kind of stress test Surfshark as much as you'd like. Uh, if you don't want to commit to it, just get yourself the refund. That's pretty much it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.